Welcome to Homestead House. My name is Jenny Lynn. Today I'm going to be talking to you about different finishes. With so many options on the market, it's difficult to choose which one will be the best one for your project. Today I'm going to talk about hemp oil and tongue oil. These are two of my absolute favorite finishes. Why? Because they're natural. There's absolutely no chemicals, minimal to low odor, and anyone can do this. I'm going to show you how easy it is. So what you want to do is with a little prep work, see which kind of surface you're working on. This surface is a really old wood that's been weathered. What I could do is take a little bit of sandpaper to it and remove away any of the imperfections or excess that I see around. But otherwise, I really just want to revive the look of this. So what I'm going to do on half of it is use hemp oil. What I love about the hemp oil is you can just pop open the cap, squeeze it on. Now you'll notice almost right away that it starts to make the color go quite deep. So it'll bring out the true natural depth of the wood. It doesn't quite change the color, but it will richen and deepen it. And in terms of what to use with application, you can use a brush, you can use a spare rag that you might have, anything that's around. So what you wanna do is just kind of brush it in, let the hemp oil soak in nice. And you can see this particular type of wood is very dry. So I'm gonna throw on a little bit more oil here. You don't have to worry about brush strokes. The way that the oils work is that they penetrate and soak into the wood fibers and they create a water resistant barrier. Now you can see with this wood, it is so, so dry. It's just drinking it up really quickly. Let the wood tell you how much you, were, you will have to apply. If it's looking quite dry almost instantly, definitely throw on another coat right away. Your other option is to use tongue oil. Tongue oil is a natural product as well, but it's not a pure drying oil. Hemp oil is a pure drying oil, so it doesn't require any solvents. Whereas tongue oil, if you want it to dry really well, you'll want to add a little bit of our odorless solvent to it. So I'm just adding one part tongue oil to one part odorless solvent in a spare cup that I have around. I'm gonna give it a little stir, and I'm gonna go ahead and use the brush again pour it on. There's virtually no difference in terms of the color and what it does to the wood compared to the hemp oil. So they're almost the same. The dry time to the touch should be within the day. With tongue oil, you want to give it about 12 hours between coats. Whereas with hemp oil, you can almost recoat right away. Now, if you didn't want to add the odorless solvent into the tongue oil, you don't have to. It'll just mean that the dry time is a little bit longer on the tongue oil. After 12 hours, you'll want to come by with a spare rag and be sure to remove any of the excess. If you let any of the excess sit and pool on top of there, you can get a little bit of gumminess or tackiness there. Less so with the hemp oil. You'll notice this uh, dries a little bit nicer. Now, in terms of the odor and the smell, there's actually almost no smell at all. I, I smell a very light uh, walnut odor with the hemp oil, and the tongue oil also has a very nice mild odor. And our odorless solvent is 99.7% monomer free, and that's what gives you the headaches and solvents. So it's a very pure, clean solvent to use. In terms of maintenance, you want to uh, look at the type of surface that you're talking about. If it's for flooring, maybe once every six months to a year, depending on how much you're was washing it and using it. If it's a countertop, the same thing, once every six months. And then uh, if it's something like a dresser or something you're not washing very often, you'll want to use it maybe once every five years or as you see fit. And that's it, depending on when you use the tongue oil or the hemp oil, you'll have a beautiful, durable, water resistant finish. Do you have any questions? I do actually. I know that tongue oil has always got that orange tone, but the hemp oil, I'm seeing a variety of greens. Is that normal? Yeah, so the hemp oil, depending on when the seeds are harvested, you can get a variety of, of colors. Here we've got a very amber look to it, and this one's a little bit darker, and you can go as dark as a, a really dark green. That's all perfectly fine. Uh, it doesn't affect the finish in any way. It doesn't even really change the color of the wood. So if you're putting this over top of it, a white milk paint, for instance, it's not going to go yellow or green at all. And the color differential between the hemp oil and the tongue oil won't really affect or change the color of your wood either. And for a project that already has, say, that liquid plastic finish like a urethane? Sure. Can I just put hemp oil on the urethane? Will it come into contact with the original wood or? That's a great question. If you already have a finish on there like a polyurethane coating, 
the, penetrate, the, the oil won't be able to penetrate through it, so you will want to remove it with a light sanding. And then once you've removed all of that layer, the oil can then be applied and penetrate through. And what about outside projects? So if you're going to do an exterior project, the best thing you want to use is a tongue oil because it is a little more water resistant than the hemp oil. I personally prefer using the hemp oil just because I like how, it, how I work with it and how the smell is, but the tongue oil is more suitable for exteriors. It's more water resistant. Um, okay, and then one more question. Kitchens, I really don't want to use any chemicals. Um, do I have to use the tongue oil for water resistance, say a countertop? Or? Once again, the way that oils work is they all are water resistant to a certain degree. So it just depends. If you want to use just your hemp oil in your kitchen, you can do that. Just put an extra couple of coats on. So instead of doing two coats in your kitchen, maybe put three coats of hemp oil. Once again, hemp oil is a pure food grade edible oil. So it's completely safe. Tongue oil is also quite safe, but once you add the solvent to it, it makes it less safe. Okay, and sorry, I know that was my supposed to be my last question, but I do have another one. I am just looking at this wood. It looks like it could accept another coat of hemp oil now, could mm -hmm. it? Yeah, absolutely. So once again, you can just squeeze a little bit on. Eventually, if you want to increase the sheen to it, you can buff it, but you can get uh, typically a matte finish just to start, but you can actually increase it to a higher sheen just by buffing a little bit. Using a brush is so much fun because it gets into all those little cracks. And then just make sure at the end you wipe away any excess with a rag. Okay, now I noticed you use the same brush for the tongue oil and the hemp oil. Does that really matter? It doesn't really matter. You can mix the two. It's, it's not going to be harmful. Okay. So there we go. And if you have any other questions, please feel free to email us, info at homesteadhouse.ca. Thank you so much. Thank you.